Hello, I'm Derek Tevers, and this is your Indie Game Review of PID or PID. I'm not sure how to say it. It's one or the other. <laughs> let's uh, let's start a game. Uh, we're going to take slot B. You see, I've been playing for about 30 minutes, give or take. I've gotten so far and then failed. So I've gotten to a failure point. Welcome in game. There we are. We got a little dude. Um, you were, it's, it's apparently a um, space bus accident. You were, you were on a space bus and... Yeah, there, here we are now. <laughs> it is a side-scrolling adventure with um, some interesting game mechanics. And we are on a planet with less gravity than we have. Also some interesting characters. Hey guys. So as you can, as you can see, there's, there's really no uh, talking. There's no voice acting. There's just that noise. All right, so we're heading home. We have an adventure because we need to get home. And there's these stars along the way that we collect that lets us do other things. There's, it, it's pretty forgiving. It's not like some side-scrolling games which have no forgiveness, um, at least early on. Now later, this becomes a very, very much different game. Uh, it becomes much more difficult. Uh, how do I crouch again? Nope, wrong button. There. And it is sort of a exploration. You're learning a little bit about this world as you are heading for the city from where you got dropped off. So then we get sent through the, uh, we get sent through the house. And really, it's just, um, early on, it seems to be a simple platformer. It becomes much less simple as we discover, ooh, there we go. Yay, old bus ticket. All right, it becomes much less simple as we go along. We got spikes to avoid, evil robots to avoid, because you always got to avoid evil robots. Every place has evil robots. It's a requirement. If you didn't know, it's a business requirement that all all uh, old houses must have evil robots. Eh. Woo! Wee! <laughs> all right. Wee. Uh, evil houses also must have random things that shoot stuff. That's important also. Wee. <laughs> uh, there we go. Perfection. Look at us. Dope. We got thwacked. So not everything is, uh, some of it is a little bit of puzzling. So I obviously can't go through the laser beam. That would be a bad idea, but we can always crawl under that. We uh, made it. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I die trying to figure that one out. And as you collect more stars, they unlock things, but what exactly they unlock is always a uh, Something I can't remember. Whee! Oh no, we've fallen down. Can we get up? Get up, boy. There you go. And we're off. Little cool robot having his tea down there. It feel I like the the artistic look of this game. It's it's a great little game. It's not super long. And here we go. Here's one of the game mechanics. We're about to get it. Woo! All right. Now I got glowing balls stuck in my hand. Okay, so now. Look at that. And then you can ride the light. Personally, I'd like to do that. 
Whee, let me down. Thank you. So this is one of the game mechanics. So it's the, actually, I think the prime, if I remember properly, it's the primary game mechanic. Uh, the, c come on, there we go. It's the primary game mechanic and it's, it's a puzzling game. Puzzling out how you can get across certain events. And then up we go. Okay, and then we cut across, turn that off. See, look at that. Isn't that not the awesomest thing? I wish I actually had one of these beams of light. So it becomes a, a puzzle game. Oop, that's not what I wanted. There we go. And it's got a great little soundtrack going on, a little strumming soundtrack. Kind of keeps you going. Now this one is... Uh, no. Uh, nope. Okay. That, <laughs> that was silly. Okay. Let's go with... Flunk. Oh, I almost. Okay, we have to go a little bit higher. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So there's part of the puzzling aspect right there is, is sussing out how you're going to get through there. Nope, that's not the button. Um, there we go. Give me those. And then away we go. And the puzzles are going to get more complex as, oops, as you go along. Obviously, because that's what a puzzling game does. Oh, crap. There we go. Look at that. Awesome use of beams of death or life or whatever. Uh, can we go this way? Yes. I missed a star, but it's okay. So as you can see, these puzzles are becoming increasingly more difficult as you go along. Forces you to think about how you're throwing down your little balls of light. Till it gets... In some cases, I think insane, but Ooh, I almost lifted it there. Um, I'm actually stuck at a point with uh, some revolving things, which do a lot of damage. Okay. Look at us. Woo Away we go. All right, I want to get us at least this far because this is where we can buy things with our stars. Let's talk to the little guy really quick. <clears throat> All right, so we finished talking to the guy. I didn't want to, to show you because it's actually got some of this, the, the uh, story there. But now I can hit S. I can spend 65 stars. And I get a life vest that allows me to not die immediately. There are still some chances where you get insta-killed, but at least now Kurt has... A life vest, that's what they call it. I would call it a robot-proof vest, but... Whatever. <laughs> to, to each their own, I guess, is what we can say to... Oop. Ah! Oh, boy! Alright, so what do we think about P PID or PID? Um, I think it's a great... Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great uh, little experience. Um, I would certainly, uh, I, nice job, robot. I'd certainly recommend it if you like platforming or just uh, enjoy uh, games with a little bit of a challenge. This game definitely has, uh -oh. Oh, ah, ah, bugger. This game definitely has a little bit of a challenge going on. Um, it's definitely a great game to take a look at. It's not a super expensive game. There we go. And you are going to go that way, my friend. There we go. It's not a super expensive game. It's not a super long game either, but it's definitely got an interesting mechanic and it definitely forces you to think. Uh-oh. Got to be careful here. Woo. Ha-ha. Uh, it definitely forces you to think 
No, I can't make him go. Um, more than you would expect. And, and look at this. Oh no, now I can't use my PIDs. Oh no, now what do we do? Yeah. Yeah, of course, game mechanics change as you go along. I think we'll stop here. Uh, definitely check out PID if you are into platforming or puzzling games as a puzzle platformer. Um, I'm not the best at puzzle platformers, but it's definitely worth you taking a look at. Until next time, it's Dirt Tubbers as Kurt. Ah, no, 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 ah! Bleh.